Hey, I'm Kurt and welcome back to CompSci in 5. Today we are going to learn the shunting yard algorithm, which conveniently enough employs stacks and queues to do its work. Now, last week we learned about stacks and queues and stacks, to keep in mind they are a LIFO data structure, which means last in, first out, whereas a queue, on the other hand, is a FIFO data structure, which means first in, first out. This is key when doing the algorithm of going from infix expressions to postfix expressions because if you keep the logic behind how the data is, the decisions you make with the operators on top of the stack makes a whole lot of sense. It's worth it to go into that we keep track of the head in a stack because we want to maintain constant time operations for our algorithm because we do the push and pop which only concerns itself with the head or the top of the stack Whereas the queue, we want to keep track of both the head and the tail to maintain our constant time operations with the end queue, which adds a node to the tail of the queue, and the DQ, which removes one from the front. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to go through some of the key things of the shunting yarn algorithm, which you need to process all the symbols. You need to do it one at a time. And you need to, so anytime you see a number, you're going to end queue it. Anytime you see an operator, you're going to push it onto the stack. However, every time you pop, you're going to keep track of the precedence. And then whenever you, so precedence, remember PEMDAS back in the day, uh, it still exists and it's still going to be used. And there's this nifty parenthesis rule that we'll see when we go through an example. We're going to dive in and do a very visual example. This right here is the stack. This right here is the queue. Remember, every time we see a number, we're going to want to immediately enqueue it. Every time we see an operator, we're going to want to push it on the stack. And then the pop rules depend on the PEMDAS rules for comparisons. All right, so let's go right into it. So first symbol that we have is an open parentheses. So it's not a number. We're going to push it onto the stack down there. Next number we have is a 5. This symbol is a number and it's a 5, so we're going to enqueue it. The next symbol we have is a multiplication sign, and because it's an operator, we push it onto the stack. Next, next symbol is a number and it's a 4, so we enqueue it. The next symbol is a plus sign. Now we need to be very, very careful about precedence. So we need to take the symbol that we're looking at and we need to look at the symbol that's on the top of the stack, the head of the stack, you will. Because a stack is a LIFO data structure, that means last in, first out. So if we were to push this addition sign on top of the stack, that means that it would get popped off before the multiplication sign and enqueued. When this goes in to be evaluated, then the plus sign would get done before the multiplication sign, which violates PEMDAS. Because of that reason, and multiplication has higher precedence, we want to pop it off and enqueue it before we push the addition sign or the plus sign onto the stack. The next we have is this symbol, this cute little three, and it's a number, so we don't need, even need to think. We just want to enqueue it. Next, we have a multiplication sign, and now the game has changed. You need to remember LIFO, FIFO, stack, LIFO, Q, FIFO. Because this is LIFO, this last item in will be the first item out and will be enqueued before. And because this is FIFO, that means this will get evaluated before the plus, which is everything we need to know. So we can just push it right onto the stack. The next symbol we have is a closed parentheses. Now the rule with the parentheses, whenever you're dealing with a closed one, is you want to pop all the operators off the stack and enqueue them one by one. We pop and enqueue. We pop and enqueue until this guy's buddy or mate is found and it's closed. At that point, we discard them because we don't want them in the output queue. Our next symbol we have, remember, we need to do all the symbols, is a minus sign. Because it's an operator, we push it onto the stack. There's nothing on top of the stack to compare it to, so no worries. The last is this number. It's a 1, so we don't even need to think. We can enqueue it. Next, we have the minus sign. Well, next we ask ourselves, well, we have no more symbols to read, but we need to do all the symbols. So we look in our stack and we find that there's still a minus sign. So we need to pop this off the stack and enqueue it. 
And that's it. Now this is the uh, output queue that's going to get sent to a post stack evaluator. This is an infix to post fix algorithm. We went from infix to this post fix. This will go to a post fix stack evaluator. So if we want to check out the main things here is the LIFO and FIFO are related to the POP precedence and PEMDAS. It's very important to keep in mind. It's the trickiest part about the algorithm. Otherwise, it's very straightforward. Uh, next time, we're going to do the post fix stack evaluator. And of course, we're going to use, you guessed it, a stack. Uh, thank you for joining us to here. We really, really love you and appreciate your viewership. Come sign five, baby. You gotta enjoy that.